Welcome to Anita's Guide to Simple and Easy Cooking. I'm Anita and today I will show you how to make diabetes cake. Let's see what we need to get started. We need 4 cups of mixed fruits, 1 cup of chopped dates, 100 grams of chopped glazed cherries, 3 cups of self-raising flour, 2 cups of water, 3 tablespoons of oil, one third cup of milk, one and a half teaspoon of mixed spice, three teaspoon of baking soda, and one cup of red wine. First, we need to cook this on our medium heat stove. So we're gonna put the heat on medium and cook the, all our fruits up. We're going to put the two cups of water with the fruit at this stage and the one cup of red wine that we got. We're going to cook this on medium heat and bring it to a boil. It's been five minutes now and my fruits are starting to come to a boil. I'll just give it for another few seconds to make sure it's really bubbling before I sim bring it down. I'll bring the heat down put my oil and bring it to a simmer for 3 minutes. It's starting to boil now. Gonna put my 3 tablespoons of oil. Give it a quick stir. And I'm gonna let it simmer for 3 minutes. It's been 3 minutes now since my fruits have been simmering and now I'm going to turn the heat off, add my baking soda, give it a good stir, make sure everything is mixed properly. gonna cover this and let it rest for 15 minutes this cake is that healthy and it's not only sugarless it's eggless for vegetarians you can also give it to your kids for lunch boxes or adults can take it to work and this cake will last you for months if you put it in a sealed container in the fridge while our fruit is cooling down I preheat my oven at 180 degrees and get my baking tray ready Spray your baking tray with the oil and line it with the baking paper. My baking tray is ready. Let's go and see our fruits. It's 15 minutes now and our fruits have cooled down. It's not completely cold, just warmish. Now I'm gonna add one cup, one third cup of milk and my mixed spice. Give it a good mix. self-raising flour before I put it into the, into the fruit mix I'm just going to take a whisk and just give it a quick whisk to, just, just to aerate it a bit to make sure there's no lumps and stuff here now 
now I'm gonna paint half of the flower first. Give it a mix to mix, make sure that there's no lumps in it. And I'm gonna add the remaining flower. Because we had the fruits resting for 15 minutes, it has gone nice and plump and juicy. Make sure it's all mixed properly. Now we're going to put this in our baking tray, which is already lined with baking paper. Spread it evenly in your baking tray. We're going to put this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees. It's been 30 minutes now. We'll take out our cake and see if it's ready. I've checked with the skewer and my cake is ready now, so I'm going to let it cool down. Cut it into pieces and put it in a sealed container in the fridge. This will last for two months in the fridge. And you can take it to school or work or you can have it for lunch. It's that nice and rich and healthy. Thanks for watching my channel.